You asked for it, I obliged. Let's see if Humes and Berg is the king of drum cases. <laughs> uh, several of you had seen my previous video where I, I took the Gator protector cases, put them up against the SKB Pro cases, and even though I am the owner of the Gator protector cases, and I think they've done a fantastic job over the last 15 odd years that I've had them, they have fallen with drums in them and whatnot. The drums have been completely protected. The SKB-1, no doubt the SKB-1. Some of you said that you've had issues with SKB cases, but I don't particularly own them yet and I don't know that I will. We'll see how they, our new cases handle it here at the school. That should, that should be a test. In any case, I went ahead, I had a snare drum sitting out that didn't have a case, so I bought a Humsenberg case, their top line case, the Enduro Pro. We're gonna start talking about the, that today. Let's see if it's the king of the hill. So, first, let's start with the SKB. I'm not gonna bring the protector in because the SKB and the Humes and Berg share a lot of the same qualities. Only one of them is actually, in my view, a true winner. <laughs> a true winner. So let's see if it's which one it is. SKB. So here's a Tom case, one of our school's Tom cases. Let's start here. The strap. It's a good strap. Like I said in my last video, it's 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 a robust strap. That's that material is gonna last a while, no doubt about it. As far as the clasp, it's just like any clicking clasp there is. I mean, does what it's supposed to do. It's pretty robust plastic. It does seems to do its job. As far as being held in place, that strap is being held in place right here by the handle, which is a which is it's a hardcore handle, not gonna lie. I think. This, this should do the job too. On the bottom, held in place with pretty decent rivets. They're, they don't seem to be moving anywhere. If any of you own this case and you have had problems with the rivets, put it down in the comments section. I'd like to know that. I'm sure everybody else would too. Um, as far as insides go for the SKB case, it's, it's decent plastic or whatever type of plasticky type material it is. The lid and the bottom of the, the interior of the case are padded, like it's a thick pad. It's, it's, it's pillowy, not gonna lie. The walls of this SKB case are also lined, but not padded. So that, that'll just be there to help not mark your, mark your hardware on your drum. Although my protector cases don't have any lining, they have fallen. I have had no issue with my lugs. They, they all look fantastic, like new, so. Not gonna lie though, it'd be nice to have some uh, lining. <laughs> also, <clears throat> if you've seen the video, you already know, SKB makes this kind of an X pattern. It's pretty thick. You probably see how thick that is right there, okay. Um, and so what happens there is these are able to be stacked on top of each other. The bottoms of all the other cases from SKB are the invert of this X pattern. They, they, you put them on top, they're not going anywhere. They're, they're, it's a pretty solid fit. So you really have to like push to knock them over. So that's, that's super cool. Um, I, re I really dig that because my protector cases are not that way and that's part of the reason I know that they fell over and yeah, we won't get into that. Anyway, um, so that's your, that's your SKB. Let's move on to the Humes and Berg. Starting from the top. The strap is much more heavy duty than the SKB. It's wider, the, the material, <laughs> this, this, is, this is a decent strap right here. This, is, this thing is hardcore. The clasp is bigger. It does what it's supposed to do too. Put, push the two sides in, it undoes it. It's just more manly than the SKB, plain and simple. It just is. 
As far as how it's connected, just like the SKB, okay, we have full metal handle holding that strap into place. And like the SKB on the bottom, it's held in place with rivets at certain spots. Again, that's that's on there. So tell me if you own the S uh, if you own the Humes and Bird case, have you had any problems with the rivets? Did, have they have they pulled out or whatnot? Seems really robust to me. Let's keep moving, shall we? Whatever Humesenberg uses for this plastic, I think it's super, personally, and I've had this case for not very long. Personally, I think it's fantastic. Literally fantastic. It's it seems like this thing can can take a serious beating and not break. Uh, again, I'm not going to throw it under, you know, like I said in my other video, I'm not going to throw it out the back of a pickup truck or run it over with a car or anything, it, ever. But this seems... <sighs> the SKB is great. This seems like a whole nother level. Not going to lie. So I'm going to hand that to Humesenberg. As far as the interior, just like the SKB, it's a pillowy top inside and a pillowy bottom, a pillowy bottom inside the case. But Humesenberg went another step and the walls, not just lined, but lined with the same pillowy texture. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but I'm gonna try to get it on the camera. But hopefully you can see my fingers can press in. Or maybe I can do it this way. Uh, I don't know. Hopefully you can see it press in there. So yeah, pillowy, beautiful. Really, really well thought out. Nicely done. Let's talk about uh, their stacking capabilities. SKB had that X pattern, right? You can tell on here, you can tell on here, there's a lot going on here, <laughs> but it's the same idea. This is going to stack on top of other Humesenberg cases. This seems even more over the top than that X. I could only imagine, since this is the only Humesenberg case I own, I, I'm not able to stack it on anything, but I could only imagine that with this much going on, it's going to be locked in place. You would really have to push it to knock it over and have them just fall off the tower of drums. It's, it's serious, not going to lie. It is very, very serious. The Humesenberg for the win on that, too. Um, I had mentioned in my other video, by the way, I'll link that other video at the end of this one. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Um, little Humesenberg action here. I'm going to try to, hopefully you guys will be able to see this. I mentioned that Gator Protector cases, when I bought mine, you could get them colored. It doesn't look like you can do that anymore. Went to the website, I don't see color for their cases at all. As far as SKB, I don't see colors at all either. Like, I don't think it was ever offered. I think black is it. But Humes and Berg, Humes and Berg, you got some color options, okay? Which I think is super cool. So if I were to replace my drums, I would go for a color option. That said, a little bit of warning here. I've talked to two people from two different big stores, stores you would have heard of. <laughs> um, both of them say that the Humesenberg, the black cases are usually readily available. Although since the COVID thing has happened, and I know that was like a couple of years ago, there, people are still having problems getting parts and whatnot. And so there are some cases that they're waiting on from Humesenberg too. I, I, all I can go is with what they told me. The colored cases, those are special order. You're definitely going to wait a little bit for those. I know that I had to wait for my, my uh, Gator protector cases when they were colored too. Just know that you can't walk into 
Guitar Center, Sam Ash, or call up Sweetwater. They're not just going to have a purple case for you. That's going to be a special order, and it's going to take some time. Just keep that in mind. Lastly, <laughs> and I'll pop this up on screen. We know from my other video that the SKB case is considerably more expensive than the protector case. And by its build quality, I can go with that. I can totally go with that. However, with the Humes and Bird case, which right now I'm telling you flat out, that, that's an incredible case. That one is the king of the hill right now as far as the cases that I have had my hands on and use. It is by far the king of the hill. Ready for this? I base this on 14 by 14 floor tom cases. The Humesenberg, the better case, is $14 cheaper <laughs> than the SKB equivalent. So in my world, the better case being cheaper is the way to go. Now, it looked like, too, all the other, all the other um, Enduro Pro cases from Humes and Berg on both sides were cheaper. Uh, so, it, it, take that for what it is. It's just cheaper. I looked at it on Music and Arts, and I looked at it on, on Sweetwater. So, in my world, Humes and Berg, winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. They, the case is incredible. It's cheaper. Yes, it's more expensive than the Gator Protector cases, but there is so much more to it. Yeah, high five Hume, Humes and Berg for this one. All right, folks, down in the comment section, tell me, uh, do you use Humes and Berg cases? Do you, do you use Humes and Berg bags? I've got a couple of snare drums in Humes and Berg tuxedo bags, and they're fine. And that, they're kind of like... I don't know how I like those. Eh, they work. They definitely work. But I, I, I think there are better bags out there. Maybe I'll do a bag comparison, but no, I'm not buying bags anytime soon. Maybe I can get some people to throw me some different types of bags so I can do it on the channel. But, um, uh, yeah, do you use bags? Do you use cases? Have you had any problems with a Humesenberg case? Put that down there. I know a couple of you put that uh, you had gotten some cracks in your SKB cases. I've, that's incredible to me. So, uh, yeah, tell me if you got that with the Humesenberg also. All right, folks, if you like my channel, if you like what we're getting here, uh, hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. That really, really, really helps. It takes a second. Just go bloop. Just, just give it a little tickle, tickle, <laughs> um, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any content. And until the next time, folks, I hope you have a great week and we will see you next week. Take care.